What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. Normally on this channel, we cover big 3D printers or little 3D printers or resin 3D printers or replica props and cosplay and toys and other sorts of stuff. Well, today we're gonna be talking about apps and more specifically the best 3D design apps that are available over on the iPad. These are seriously cool devices that if you own an iPad and you have an Apple Pencil, there are some really cool apps that you should be considering taking a look and picking up. They're not gonna cost you an arm and a leg as well, which is great. And there's a variety of them out there. And today I wanna to talk to you about some of my favorites that I've worked with and give you some of my initial feedback and experience with working with those. But first, let me tell you about where I got this awesome Wonder Woman t-shirt from today's video sponsor. That's right, we're talking about Loot Crate. Loot Crate is the ultimate in geek box subscriptions. They offer you a curated collection of awesome items from the best of pop culture franchises delivered to your door each and every month. This includes items from franchises like Marvel, DC Comics, Rick and Morty, Hello Kitty, Harry Potter, and more. I mean, check out these amazing Batman miniature statues that I got in my box. With Loot Crate, you'll get access to a box of goodies sent to your door each and every month. You can cancel at any time or even skip a month if you'd want. To find out more about Loot Crate, make sure to check out the link in the description box below and make sure to use the code UNBOXFUN15 when checking out to save 15% off your order. I've actually been a really long time member of Loot Crate and a lot of the other shirts that you've seen me wearing in my previous videos are t-shirts that I got from my Loot Crate boxes. So thank you again to the folks over at Loot Crate for sponsoring today's video. So before we take a look at the apps, let me just explain, I am not a 3D modeler or designer by trade or even really proficient with most of the apps that I'm gonna be showing you here today. But I had a handful of goals that I was looking to achieve before jumping into this. The first of those is that I was trying to find a app that would closely mimic what I might be able to do in ZBrush or Fusion 360. I know that's a very lofty, very, very lofty goal to achieve here on an iPad application, but I think we're pretty close. Another is that it couldn't be a web-based application. It needed to be an app that I had to download and install on the iPad, something that was designed specifically to be used on the iPad. This means being able to take advantage of all the gesture controls as well as supporting the Apple Pencil. You'd actually be pretty surprised how many apps that are out there that don't take advantage of the gesture controls or the support for the pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pencil when using any of these apps. And lastly, and most importantly for me, is that anything that I've designed in any of these applications, I need to be able to export as an STL or an OBJ file so that I can get it prepped and ready for 3D printing. This means that I can actually print it, show it off to you guys, or potentially share it with someone else, or they can take the file and print it on their own. So with that said, let's take a look at the apps. All right, so the first app that we're gonna be taking a look at is Putty 3D. It's $4.99 on the App Store, and it's a really basic app, but what's really cool about it is that it is available over on the iPad as well as your iPhone. It's a really basic organic sculpting app that has some really limited functionality, but it has one really cool feature and tool that's available to it that I haven't really seen on any of the other 3D modeling apps, and that's its free sculpting tool. This will allow you to basically go anywhere in the workspace and just start sculpting, which is really, really cool. I'm not even aware if I can do that in ZBrush. <laughs> Uh, I'm again, not hugely proficient in most of these tools, but it's just a really wild thing to be able to go in and work with. One of the big downsides of this app is that it has a really limited tool set. So you can do basic things like sculpting or smoothing, but there's no move tool or inflate tool. There is a polishing tool on this as well to help flatten out surfaces. But again, it's really, really limited in what you have available to you. There is a mirror tool that allow you to mirror from one side to the other as well as you're sculpting through this. But again, that big one here for me was the free sculpting tool that allows you to just design anything on the canvas or connect or fill gaps. This app could be really fun for someone that's looking to make some very basic character creations that you might wanna run off and 3D print. All right, so let's talk about Shaper 3D. This is probably the closest that you're gonna to get to Fusion 360 on a tablet device with touch controls as well as accessibility with your Apple Pencil. This is such a great, a great design app. This is probably the app that has the largest base of video support out there. The makers of this app are constantly making video content and pumping that out each week with tutorials, 
or just cool designs that they're posting on Instagram or Twitter or their YouTube channel. There is a big community and user group behind it with helping answer questions. They're constantly updating this app. This is probably one of the most updated 3D design apps that are out there. It's also free, that's right, free for you to download and fully use I believe almost all of the features, the core features are there with the free offering. Uh, there is a subscription option that's available to you. And if you want to be able to get your high res exports of any of the 3D designs that you've made, you're gonna need to do the subscription option for that. And it comes out to about $25 a month for you to actually subscribe and get the full access to this. It also, I believe, limits you to two designs that are available with the free option as well. I ended up using this to design some uh, golf accessories that I was playing around with a handful of months ago where I could actually make a vent in my house and turn it into a putting green, which is something fun for me and my kids to do during this whole lockdown madness here. Again, if you're interested in a technical CAD tool, this is the one that you really need to check out. It's so easy to navigate around and the pencil integration just makes it so easy to work with. I'm definitely gonna be playing around with that one more. I have another entire project that I'm gonna be utilizing it for here in the upcoming weeks that I'll be sharing with you guys. All right, and last is probably my favorite out of all of them. It's Forger 3D. This is as close as you're gonna to get to ZBrush on a tablet. This app runs really well and it has a ton of functionality baked into it. And it's only $9.99. If you're considering any of the 3D organic style modeling apps for an iPad, this is the one that I would highly recommend that you go with. There's just so many tools that are available to you within this. Not only can you do 3D modeling and sculpting, there's layers, there's uh, multiple objects that you can bring into this. You can import files that you've designed in other applications as long as it's an OBJ and then sculpt directly onto that there. Some of the other apps allow you to do that as well, but this allows you to bring in multiple files in one so you could end up having multiple shapes to represent, I don't know, the head, the eye, each individual eyes, the teeth. Uh, ears, the nose, the neck, the arm, you, you get what I'm saying here. It's, it allows you to do a lot of different things that you typically see in something more robust like ZBrush on your desktop, but it's directly on your iPad, it has touch controls, it's all pressure sensitivity, you can adjust every single one of the brushes, which is wild. It also allows you to do painting within the app as well, so which I haven't even dipped into yet with this, but it allows you to go in and pick colors and you can do some of the uh, painting directly on there. And you can also create your own textured brushes as well. So if you're looking to do, I don't know, like dragon scales or something like that, you could actually design and bring that in directly into this app. It's so, so cool. It's really good. There are a few things that I wish they would have incorporated with some of the other apps. The symmetry functionality to me, I constantly am getting lost with my symmetry. I don't know what's the front, the back, the top, the bottom. It would be great if there was like a little avatar in the corner, like in ZBrush that I can quickly navigate and see where I'm going to, or if I wanna to snap to the front, have a way to snap to the front there. I think there are actually some controls that allow you to do that if I would connect my keyboard to this. By the way, it also has keyboard shortcuts, which is really cool. Some of the other things that would be nice with this is, again, if I had the symmetry tool, if I could actually see where the symmetry line is, sometimes I'm not exactly sure where I'm looking at on my object in terms of when I start sculpting. Is it, am I, you know, looking dead center? Am I on the right side? Am I on the right, left side? Where's the symmetry line gonna appear as I'm working through and making my design edits? One important thing that's in this app that I'm not seeing with the others is the ability to do a remesh so I can adjust how many polygons I'm seeing inside of my actual model, increase the quality, decrease the quality, it's uh, again, really, really robust in terms of its capabilities for you to do a really in-depth sculptures on the actual app. And here's a great example from a designer that used Forger, who is much more skilled at this than I am, that sent me his actual 3D designed file. I was able to actually print this on the Elego Saturn and it printed wonderfully and it was designed directly in Forger, wasn't edited in anything else, which was really, really cool to see. So this really goes to show what the potential is 
with an iPad app for 3D design. If you're interested in learning more about Forger and how to use it, there's another YouTuber, Southern GFX, who has started putting together a bunch of different tutorial videos as well that have gone in depth with how to do certain things or just getting started with the app. I've actually been watching a number of those just to try and get better up to speed on everything that this app can do. So if you're interested in trying out any of the apps that I've mentioned here today, I'll have links to the app store down below where you can check those out as well as links to their social media sites. I also want to mention I'm not being sponsored by any of these app companies or even Apple, which would be um, absolutely amazing. I ended up buying all these apps myself and have been using them for on and off the past year or so when I'm traveling for work or just wanting to mess around with designing things while the kids are watching TV or playing games or whatever it may be. So hopefully I'll be able to design something with one of these apps that you can actually run off and 3D print yourselves here in the upcoming weeks or months or whoever knows how long that'll be before I actually get around to doing that. I also wanna say thank you again to AE Foundry who provided this file here. If you're interested in printing this Squid Girl file for yourself that was designed in Forger 3D, I'll have links down below to his site where you can find the file as well. I also wanna say a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Again, I couldn't do this without your help, your support in the channel helps me, hopefully helps make better videos for you guys. Just wanted to say thank you again for all of your support. Hey, thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see y'all next time. Bye now. By the way, if you're interested in 2D design app suggestions, I would highly recommend Brad Colbo here on YouTube who makes some ridiculously good videos all about 2D design and I'm just blown away by his content constantly.